Our upper school topic this term is going to be What a Wonderful World and we've decided to read you a story called The Trouble with Dragons. The trouble with dragons is dragons make dragons and they make some more till they're wall to wall dragons making dragons galore. Then dragons start spreading all over the place. Soon their houses and roads take up all of the space. Dragons eat all the food and drink all the drink and use everything up without stopping to think. They also throw parties and make loads of noise and leave a huge mess after playing with their toys. Dragons chop down the forests which melts both the poles and punctures the atmosphere full of big holes. Dragons blow out hot air, which makes everything hotter and hotter and hotter until all the snow melts and turns the ice to water. Then the seas start to rise and the deserts expand until everything's covered in water or sand. Say goodbye to the world into which you were born. Soon everyone else will have packed up and gone. Everyone except the dragons. Poor dragons. Imagine a world with no birds and no bees, just dragons as far as a dragon can see. Don't go, wailed the dragons, don't leave us alone. A world without wildlife is no kind of home. If you stay, we all promise to do what it takes to look after the planet for all of our sakes. As the waters rose higher right over their knees, a voice said, OK, start by not chopping down trees. Then all of the animals chimed in with advice, from the greatest of elephants to the smallest of mice. Eat food that is grown much closer to home and leave the wild places and ice caps alone. Stop blowing all that hot air but instead choose to walk and put less of our world on the end of your fork. Respect all Earth's creatures and cherish the land. Recycle, reuse and reduce your demands. So, if you know a dragon, and most of us do, ask if it thinks that this story is true. For if we can't see that our stories are linked, then sadly, like dragons, we'll soon be extinct. <laughs>